Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to a special episode here of, oh, we're going to call this a let's sample of a new game called King Under the Mountain. This is one that is still in pre-alpha. I'm really just playing the, uh, the demo that was released uh, to back up the Kickstarter. That they had uh, that they had going a couple weeks ago, uh, the Kickstarter didn't complete, but they're going to be doing it again. Um, they put out a demo to kind of give some some teeth to it, to uh, you know, to, to verify that there really is a game being developed here. And from what I've read about the game, it is looking quite exciting. The demo is is very basic. It doesn't have most of the features that are described in the uh, eventual game, but what is here is, is, is quite fun. And definitely enough here to show you what it's going to be about. Um, let me trigger a game real quick so you've got something to see in the background while I'm talking. Then I'll read from the, uh, the website here what this is about. So this is a pre-alpha prototype, and uh, uh, they're going to be going back to Kickstarter soon for another campaign. The last one didn't chart like it was going to complete so they decided to pull it before it got to the end I had uh, bought into it I definitely want to uh, dive into this game when it's done let's let these guys just kind of idle and wander for a little bit there's no food or water requirements right now so there's nothing to harm them so just kind of get a sense of, of what this looks like and what they look like and let me read from their about page from their website kingunderthemountain.in what's the dot in? is that like indie? Don't know. Overview. King Under the Mountain is a simulation-based settlement building management game set in a fantasy world. Well, that's a mouthful. This settlement could be a dwarven stronghold dug into a mountain, a human town of various buildings, a tribe of orcs in a conquered dungeon, or even a lone wizard's fortress filled with traps and magical constructs. The player gives orders to the population of their settlement, to collect resources, dig out mines, construct buildings and workshops, craft equipment and weapons, set up farms and the like. This plays out in real time as these orders are carried out with the player reacting to disasters, natural or otherwise. I'm looking over my other screen here. I see we're going into the night cycle. We've got day and night. We've got seasons. After a while, these trees will start to change colors as we get to autumn. It's a, it's a pretty game. Um... Where was I natural otherwise? Once the player has a stable base to work from, they send out they can send out parties of their most skilled warriors to go on adventures, to collect items and resources not otherwise available from the settlement itself. These adventures could be to one of many, sometimes randomly generated, locations. A monster's lair, a dungeon with ancient treasures, or even another settlement long since abandoned. The adventurers play out in a turn-based tactical combat system where the, the player's adventurers can use skills and abilities they've acquired through training and experience. So basically, when you're setting up your town here, think Dwarf Fortress, uh, a little bit of Rimworld, think some uh, uh, settlers, There's quite a few uh, influences in this game. You'll be uh, working on training these guys up for, for future adventures. These adventurers are where King Under the Mountain can really shine. As players build up and develop their settlements, they can automatically upload a copy of their fortress to a central server. This is where it gets interesting. Most adventurers will actually be, will actually be able to explore and loot other players' settlements. This allows players to experience their own creations firsthand as adventurers on a quest to explore it. Players can receive bonuses and rewards both from exploring other players' settlements and allowing other players to come to their own stronghold. As these settlements are only copies of the original, and most of the time adventurers uh, taking place in them will not be at the same time the creator is playing, nothing is lost by the player opting into this feature. So essentially, Let's say if Vapa and Night Ghost were to grab a copy of this and they built their own settlements, I could go in and raid them. It may not be while they're playing, which is great because uh, Vapa's in a far different time zone than, than the two of us, but uh, we could go in and, and cannibalize each other's uh, strongholds here and, and uh, it wouldn't actually affect the, the, the real map. It's only a copy, but you get to dive in there and kind of test the uh, defenses that, that the other player has set up. Wow, there's a lot of uh, mountain here. Let me kind of run through the whole map here. So this is a game, let's see, made, uh, being developed by Rocket Jump Technology out of Manchester, UK. So out in England. Um, what we got here? Click at the base. Yeah, fir tree, pine trees, 
different shrubberies. We've got down in here, looks like dirt and grass. You are a maple tree. You look like a birch tree. Yep, birch tree is over there. What else is available? You are the maples. You are what? You're birch. No, you're not birch. Beech. Okay, that's a little, there's a birch tree there. You are a maple tree, right? I'm, I'm zoomed out far enough where the hitbox is really tiny. It seems like there's oak in here as well. That's a good size map. There's a lot of exploring to be done here. All the different colors are different kinds of stone. So if you spend any time playing Dwarf Fortress, you'll get a sense of what that's about. Not only do we have different kinds of stone, we have different things within the stone. So different crystals and gems and coal and probably silver and gold and, and uh, jade and whatever else we're going to find. So let's dive into what is here. Again, not many of these features exist in the demo yet. They just wanted to demonstrate that this was a real game and, and uh, they weren't pulling the, the wool over your eyes here by, by uh, pledging to the Kickstarter. They wanted to show they were, actually had something going on. Um, let's right click out of that, get into orders and throw up uh, some mines here. Let's have you guys just kind of tunnel into here for for now. Although I don't really like that area. Let's see here. What have we got? Our stockpiles over here. This what is that? It looks like a road. I wonder if it's going to simulate a river at some point. Not sure. I'm thinking this is unexplored lands, but I might be wrong. It does look more like a river and a riverbank, though. Yeah. So if this was a real game, I'd probably head into here. A place that would be easy to defend. Up through here? I think so. Let's carve in a single path there and we'll open it up a bit right there so we can put a door at that point. Um, at this point there's mine, chop, and clear and then you can set up zones. Your stockpile zone, your sawmill, and, and uh, masonry. So basically stonework and woodwork. Um, and then stockpiles where you want to store everything. So let's just take this one step at a time. Let's get back into orders and mine. And let's clear an area that's going to be a couple of big stockpile areas. Something like that. As that clears, we will tell them to zone this area in here as stockpile and in there as stockpile. And then as they pop into the rest of that, we'll expand that stockpile. That sounds good. There's only well, there was only room for one person. Now we've got one, two, three jobs opened up. So we should see the rest of the miners on their way in. They finally got their orders. They've got uh, lights on their helmets, so everything lights up around them at night. Kind of nice. Otherwise, everybody else is probably roaming the whole map, just kind of goofing off, saying, i got nothing to do. Uh, these are dwarves. I think uh, humans and orcs come later. And then after that, wizards and all kinds of monsters and what have you will be... Uh, built into the game. Now, the Kickstarter was, oh, how do you order? It's kind of similar to um, uh, Kingdoms and Castles um, uh, fundraiser they did over on, on fig.com. You buy it at, you know, $20 and you get this, $30 you get that, $40 you get that. In fact, that's one of the reasons I don't have uh, Kingdoms and Castles on my channel right now it will be in a couple of weeks because i thought i had bought in at, at a you know a basic low level enough to where i can play the game turns out i didn't get alpha i got beta so i was kind of disappointed about that and there was no way to upgrade so what kick what uh, uh king under the mountains decided to do uh rocket jump technology is next time what they're, they're kicking around doing is a kind of a modular uh, Kickstarter system, if that's a way to describe it. A base plan or two, and then add a la carte what you want. You know, I really wanted in uh, Kingdoms, and, uh, Kingdoms and Castles, I was really wanting to get my name in there. They have a little noble rambler running around, but they wanted, I think it was $75 to get into that level. And that was too rich for my blood, so that didn't happen. Here, I could get the base and buy a character or get the base and buy a, uh, an artifact and put my name on that or design it or something. In other words, you can buy just the parts that you want, 
which is really a neat idea. I like that. So that's what they're talking about doing for the next Kickstarter, which they're hoping will be far more successful by going that route. Sounds good to me, too. They've got a Reddit, so I'll put links down below if you want to follow what's going on there. They've got uh, a website. I'll include the Kickstarter link to the last one in case the, that works for the, the next one, too. But I'm guessing within the next month or so, we're going to see this, uh, this Kickstarter start up again. And uh, you guys enjoy this little Let's Sample, then grab your own copy so that uh, we can kind of play it together on the channel here. Otherwise, there are speeds. I'm sitting here talking, not really noticing what's happening behind. Two and three. So one, two, three that I know of. I haven't found a pause. Um, if I hit escape, well, I don't know if it's going to mess up uh, fraps, but it doesn't really give me any options. It's just a demo. So I can't change the uh, sound levels. I can't change the hotkeys or anything like that. In fact, there's not even a, a list of hotkeys that I could find. So I'm just winging it here. But... Um, there's no save game on the demo. I'll include a link for the demo too if you want to grab this and, and uh, give it a try. Anyway, I'm right now just building stockpiles. And then we're going to kind of tunnel through and explore and find out what all the different things are. This particular rock that we're playing with right now is Dolostone. Dolostone? Dolostone? There's a little space in there. It's kind of odd. Don't know what that is. I thought it would be more like Marvel or something. But that's what this particular is called. Let's get them to mine some random pieces. Let's mine. Let's grab that area right there and we'll see what comes out of it. Otherwise, that's our front door. Now that there's an opening, I can actually place a door. So let's go back into stockpile. Furniture is at the end of all three of the zones and it's basically the same list of furniture, except there will be uh, um, an extra thing in here for carpentry or for masonry, but let's put a door in there You can choose wood you can choose stone and don't know if it was intended But if you click on lantern it goes to metal and then you click on door and it kind of stays metal So <laughs> probably a, a mistake or not. I'm not sure so you can get a metal door or you can go back to table and select wood or stone Let's go for a stone door right there and build that one and lantern might be a good idea before we fill this thing. Put a lantern there, get the corners. Though I don't have the ability to smelt metal yet. That's not been built into the demo that I could find. So metal, what do we have here? You are copper ingots. So when this runs out, it runs out. Let's take these trees down. Oh, fall, or autumn colors here, just notice that. Let's chop those out so we can see the rest of the stockpile. In fact, let's give all the other guys who aren't mining something to do. Let's uh, let's grab a bunch of wood from down over here. That way we don't take the trees out immediately around us. Then we can also go in and clear. Let's clear the bushes out of there. And some over here just to kind of... I will do that whole area that kind of demonstrate how that works. We should see them over here chopping away. Trees are going down, turning into logs. They're going to bring logs to either stockpile or stockpile. In fact, let's expand those stockpiles. Zone, stockpile, add tiles. Add tiles like so. Change our mine and put a pathway through the middle of it like so. Kind of like that idea. A little easier to get into it. And let's add tiles out over here. And take out the path to about like that. One more. That's symmetrical. That looks pretty good. Though I think we're a little long here, but that's fine. So, can't do a whole lot at this point other than add a carpentry area and a masonry area. I don't have any actual uh, bedroom furniture or anything along those lines. We can kind of simulate it just for, for fun here. Let's mine into our, our place. Let's put in, oh, let's say a door area there. Let's expand this bigger into what will be a masonry shop. And let's do the same thing over here a little further, though. We'll tap into... Let's do that a little different right there. That looks pretty good. Into what will be a carpentry shop. And let's give them access into... A little shortcut into the stockpiles. Give them a quick way to go and grab stone or grab uh, wood to, to do what they need to do. So they're going to bust their way through that. Um, lighting, zone, furniture. Let's put... A light there and there. Ah, we'll call that good enough. 
We've got an opening here. Let's put another stone door in. Metal, wood, stone. We'll put stone doors on the outside. That's a table. <laughs> and I can't remove that now. I have not figured out how to take things away. I don't think it's programmed into the demo. You've got over here, a remove item doesn't do any good. You've got nothing in the way of cancel. We got remove tiles, that won't work. Furniture, there's no cancel, that doesn't move. So we've got a table there. Hmm. Oh well, you can pretend that's a door. Um, what next? So we got some workshops going in. We'll see what stones we've got over here. Did we? We did mine these out and they've already been carried in. So we've got bituminous coal. So we've got coal there. We've got jasper uncut gems piled in there. That looks like birch. Birch logs. And that would be something like maple. Okay. Much more birch logs over there. So that came from. These are birch over here. Yeah, maple and birch. Okay. And we cleared out that area. We cleared out that area. I didn't get to see it done. Let's, let's see here. Where to go next? That is red. It's most likely the same as, probably got into it right there. So that's the jasper. This is the coal. We've got some dark stone over here. And we've got, see how it lights up? We've got a, uh, a cavern or a space inside the mountain here that they're going to discover. There's nothing in any of these caverns at this time. But I would imagine at some point they'll be able to tunnel in to find some old ruins or something in there. Monster's lair. Maybe possible. I'm not sure. Uh, ooh, I bet you're gold. What other colors do we have in here? No. Copper, maybe? Gold and copper? It's the same symbol. So I'm thinking well, they're both metals, and whereas these are both stone. Not sure. One thing they've they've uh, developed. We go through their website and and uh, through the Kickstarter. The Kickstarter had a lot of information. Um, they've purposely designed these symbols here so that you can for, for modders make it real easy. So you just change the color a little bit and uh, it becomes something else. So very few textures create a whole variety of different uh, enhancements to the game. So there's a grayish tone. We'll have to pop into here and see what this is. Orders, mine. Let's take this section out and see what's in here. So we'll have the mine that. What are you? That's an interesting texture. I can't get anything when I click on it. Is this the mined out version of this? Let's find out. Let's explore that area. All right. Ooh, look at the red. So we're into winter now. The end of autumn. Winter's here. Don't have the sense of snow yet. I don't believe. I'm trying to remember if I've seen rain and snow, but there will be weather. I think it was mentioned in one of the one of the pages on the Kickstarter or the website. Um, other colors and textures to dive into. You're red. Ah, we don't have this one yet. So let's send a path up there. From from here. Let's dive this way and into here. Let's take this area out and let's continue on up into here. Let's put a double path into there. Let's carve out some bedrooms. So if we were doing this for real, I would say something along those lines. I'm on two speed. Let's kick up to three speed. Play at night ghost speed here. Speed 10. <laughs> and let's continue our pathway on up into this void. And grab a, a doorway there. Though that's a little precarious there. Remove, too late. Okay. Well, we'll put a door there. All right. So that's the door there. That's a table there. And we've got it. We've got an area worked out. What is this now? Let's find out. We've got granite. All right. So granite there and dull stone. I've heard of dolomite. I wonder if dolomite has any relation to dull, dull stone. I wonder if that's what they're trying to imply there. So let's get into carpentry masonry. Um, looks like mostly stone over here, and we got more wood over here. So let's go masonry over here. Uh, let's see. Zones, masonry, let's add tiles. We're going to call this whole thing a mason's shop. And we got into that little void there, but that's fine. Furniture, mason's workbench, a stone mason, mason workbench. So we cannot put this where the stones are. So I'm 
gonna guess eventually that will be changed so that if you place it there they'll know to remove the stones kind of a uh, rim world style but for now let's see best way to do this I'm gonna do that and then probably a few more across here but we'll let this uh, get built first where did I just see that little green space I don't know that's odd it went green over here right there ah okay well we'll let them clear more stones out which is going to take a while unless we build more storage. But let's uh, back up into Sawmill and call this whole area a uh, carpenter's workshop and grab the wood cutting benches. Let's see, R rotates. I have figured that out. Let's rotate that way. It looks pretty good. Now this one, you see one green circle. So this one has space for one worker, whereas back, back, mason, furniture, this one had space for two. So they can stand, sit on both sides and work. Eventually we're going to see whoever is assigned to that job bring a big old stone over there and just start tapping away at it and make blocks like right there. And I wonder if I can get rid of this stockpile. I hadn't thought about that. I played it a couple of times on my own, but I had not thought of doing that. Can I remove? Ooh. Okay. This stuff's going to get hauled in and not be left out here. Good. So with that, we've got our first carpenter's bench here and how is this going to work I see that there and I wonder why we don't have any space left for for uh, storage hmm what can we do for that at this point I don't believe that there is a way to designate the stockpile and say this is for only stone that's probably something that'll be coming later so I was gonna say we can make a stone stockpile here but um, Tell you what, zones, let's masonry and remove tiles. Let's remove that area right there and let's go into stockpile and add that area right there. And it won't let me go any further so it knows what is already used. Good. Let's do the same thing over here. Let's, let's see, back, sawmill, take away, three by at the end, back, stockpile, add three by right there all right it's odd how that didn't show up over there back see that's still showing even though we're in masonry but it's not showing here huh yeah well, little difference in the coating there again this is just a demo so but with that we can start moving things around and we might be able to clear in fact i think it's already there masonry furniture mason's bench right there okay let's put this guy right here so we've got up to four stonemasons working here let's get the carpenter shop uh, spread out a little bit further so back and let's see I've been building everything out of stone right I gotta remember this little drop down here so let's go with sawmill furniture you made out of wood We'll see the difference here. Rotate. Sure, something like that. Ah, it's red. I can go there. That'll work. I can even rotate around and do something like that. I like that too. So there's three, eventually four. There it is. Although that is a pathway. Okay, so we've got up to four carpenters working there now up to four masons working here now and we were made out of granite and made out of dola stone made out of probably birch so it does change the color depending on the uh, the type of wood or stone that that you're building it out of so there's the basics right there we've also got small tables which we saw placed right there <laughs> large table out of wood let's do that so let's kind of extend the uh, the workbench here we'll make one out of there I like that so I can throw your two by fours across there and cut them off we'll, we'll just assume there's a table saw in there well there is if you grab that hand saw um, doors let's put a wooden door in here and here we've seen the stone door at least a stone door made out of granite it looks like and let's put a, another stone door in let's we'll see if they if they happen to grab a, a dola stone there get a dolomite door at least what I'm going to call a dolomite door. So they just brought three blocks over. 
And someone's going to sit there for here in a little bit and start tap, tap, tapping. Three law, uh, planks have been brought over here. They did that one. This one's been done. You can see the animations of them opening and closing it. All right, who's going to build this? They're so busy hauling things back and forth. I wonder how it's determined who gets the order. And what is next? I wonder how long I'm going to sit here and stare at this. <laughs> All right, I'll let you guys stare at it while I'm uh, thinking about things here. Lanterns, it'd be nice to be able to see in here. We'll do that and that. Same thing here. That's good, that's good, and one over there. Sure, this is going to be storage over here, so let's do that. Hey, they built it. There we go. Uh, two different kinds of wood over here. We've got birch plank and we've got maple plank. Ah, that's the maple color. That's the birch color. Okay, that makes sense. Maple is more orange. Birch is more white. So, with that, we did give them a request to head over here. Head over here. All right, what do we got? Galena. 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 Silver, right? I'm almost thinking silver smelts out of that. In sandstone. Okay, Galena and sandstone. What else can we dive into? So that symbol, that color, most likely is, I'm going to call it silver or Galena. We played, um, um, oh, lost the name, Astroneer. You don't go down to get aluminum. You go to get, oh, what is the word that they use? But it's an entirely different thing that you then smelt and it becomes aluminum. Or another one that you smelt and it becomes copper. So, kind of the same concept here. Um, other things to explore. We wanted to get into this. I want to see what these are before this little let sample is over. So, how do we get there? Do we tunnel our way through? I don't think so. Let's head over here and mine right out of here. We'll put doors on both sides to give us kind of a, an airlock, a, a double uh, security system there. Only one space is, is accessible, so only one is going to get the order. He's going to do the whole thing, hopefully. That's going to release us into this area, which we can then go through and clear out. Ooh, we got berries forming. We'll, we'll clear that one, see if we get to... Nope, it just went away. So we went from spring till to summer, I'm going to guess. Another one over here. But, anyway, is that also granite or is that something else? Let's mine our way into here we'll see what this is what the stone is what the uh, metal or whatever the uh, mineral is in there in fact let's take that whole area out right there let's verify that red is real is is red no matter where it is we'll grab that see if that's Jasper and see what these guys are that's a little different over there too compared to this what else have we got I'm guessing that that is coal. Probably is. But let's find out. Let's take out that area right there. Now, we can't do any training. We can't uh, get our miners better at what they do yet. Uh, let's extend this into there. And then take it into there. And while we're at it, let's clip off this little area here and see what's in there. We'll just explore for a while. We'll do an explore. Got a, a void in here. Trees are... Uh, we've gone from spring to summer. Now we're back into fall again. Uh, they've pulled out all but one stone out of the old stockpile. So as space opens up... And space is opening as they, as they uh, do things with the items. So we are grabbing logs and we are turning it into planks. Let's see if we can see someone doing that. There we go. Grandpa here just... Uh, He's sawing away to turn it into a plank. He's going to go drop it off into the pile. He's going to grab another one right there. And off he goes. So I would imagine eventually he will gain experience doing that and become a master carpenter. And master mason over here. And bedrooms and, and big uh, dining halls and kitchens. And who knows what this is going to have eventually. There probably done with hauling they're satisfied we've run out of space so they're over here doing some clearing the miners are out here carving a pathway in there's room for two now there's room for three so the third miner should be heading up this way soon 
There he comes. And tap, tap, tap and away. So that'll be cleared out. What else is there to do? Let's do a little more. Let's get up into some pines and furs. How do we do that? Now, I only have the WASD as far as I know. Oh, I've, I've got side scrolling too. I didn't realize that. Okay, I can side scroll. Same uh, speed though. Um, do we send them through to it? Now we'll make them walk around. Let's just designate a few cut orders over here. Let's take out a few of these guys and a few of these guys. We'll see what the different colors of the wood are. I never did find oak. My last map, it was mostly oak, so it's randomly generated. But we did have some beach over here. That's you, right? You are beach. So let's see what beach looks like. So orders, chop, we'll do some of that. We'll get some of that into our storage. In fact, let's give them some more storage space intentionally. Let's say, you guys, let's zone stockpile out here and bring all kinds of great stuff over. There we go. And if that is shore, then we won't put it there. All right. Ah, all the stuff that's been waiting for a place to go. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. We got a room over here. Oh, oh, oh. All right, what's happening over here? And well, actually, before we get there, again, we've got Jasper. Hematite ore. So red is not the same. Okay, you're hematite. Whereas you are hermit hematite. Hermitite? Hematite. And Jasper, so maybe we're done with the Jasper? Ah, I bet you came from this. So, gems are little dots, whereas metals are long slashes. Interesting. So, can we break down the ores yet? I'm not seeing any coal being broken down. I'll have to wait and see. We've got over here your hematite again. And your coal. You are Galena, which I assume will turn into um, silver. But you are silver. Ah, so maybe Galena is something else, unless it's two. This is native silver versus Galena. I bet you there's a relationship there. Don't know my metals that well. But it seems like watching Cool 18 play Dwarf Fortress so many times, Galena just triggers silver for me so maybe i'm maybe i'm wrong but that's what i'm recalling there um i've never seen two people use a single workbench so i do wonder if it gives them two places to use but only one will use the bench at least in the demo so in that case let's orders no let's uh there we go zones mason furniture let's go ahead and toss in a wooden one sure we'll do that wood and can I do metal if I wanted to lantern mason nope I've only got choice of wood and stone so we'll do two wood we'll see if we get two different kinds of wood that looks like maple that was brought to that one we'll toss this into here and see what gets brought over to this one you are not bringing you're bringing stone you're busy working over here oh, we've got the same maple coming in right fur Hey, we've got fur. You are fur planks. You Oh, that may have come from the stockpile over here. I bet you did. So anything new over here? We've seen all of these. That's Galena. That's native silver. All right, so we should be bringing more and more from up in here. All right, you are granite. You are granite. Into here, what are you? You're a native copper. Ah, here's the native silver. Okay, so that's what's up in here, all in a granite area. Now you were different color on top than bottom, but we are granite all through this. Right there, granite. Okay, what else now? Over here we've got more of a crystal. Diamond, uncut diamonds. And you are another crystal looking shape. Uh, citrine, uncut citrine gems. And you are a metal by the long lines. Hematite. And what else have we got going on? We're into here now. That's a metal, so you are native gold, so you are native copper. Cool. You are hematite. 
and your gold, no, your copper, in what? Dolostone and granite. So any other stone colors we can explore before we call this done? You guys will be more of this, native silver. Now at nighttime it is kind of hard to see the mountains here. Anything else missing? Green. We need to explore the green and the blue dots. Okay, heading there next. How do we get there? We've got a void over here that'll definitely speed things up. So let's orders mine our way into this void here. And we do a single... Oh, take that out. Take that out. I like that better. So remove that run and that run. Okay, that's a good pathway there. Then let's come on up in here and clip into this. And take a path right through there, into there, and into, into that void. That should give us lots of new things to explore. We've got purple over here, so we're going to head this way and take that area out. I'm assuming that you are the same. Let's see, this is all void here, so they can walk around in here and clip off that and into that. What else we got? Let's see what that is. We'll cut right through there. So I'm just exploring right now. I'm having fun. Don't know how long this episode's going to be. Just going to play till it seems like I've pretty much exhausted things. There we go. I'm going to say we've covered those. Got some purple over here. Did I get that over here? No. No. Let's head over here. Alright, I want that area, and let's connect you like that, and like that. So what do you think? Would it be kind of fun for, you know, we, it's kind of hard to find a game to do a co-op on for Vapa Night Ghost and myself, like we did with the, uh, the George map in Banished. We're in different time zones, so that worked out well because we could just kind of email the save game back and forth. But this one, when it fully gets up and functioning, I'd be over, I'd be able to uh, to head over to uh, to Night Ghost map unannounced and attack and raid his place and take a look at what he's done and and then uh, if my my warriors survive, send them out to Vapa's map and. Uh, and see if we can take down his defenses and, and see what he's up to. And then uh, by the time I get back, I find out they both teamed up and took my map out. And I think it'd be kind of fun. So, you know, if, if, what do you think? You know, leave comments and uh, what do you think of that idea? What do you think of the game? Um, you think you'd want to grab a copy of this when it hits Kickstarter as well? So that uh, as I'm playing this, you guys can be uh, playing it yourself and throwing tips back at me for things that you've discovered. You look like oak. An oak tree. We got an oak tree. I don't know that... I know plants grow back. I don't know the trees grow back. We took out this swath and it seems to be gone. It's possible they do. But it would take years, whereas these would take just a season. Um, in fact, we cleared all that out and it came back. This did not come back, though, but this did. Was it here that we cleared out, or was it here? I think it was both. I think they were both empty. So the bushes grow back. Don't know if the trees do, although I didn't notice these before. Let's go ahead and cut down orders, chop that and that. But uh, getting back to the co-op idea, I think this would be a map that, w that time zones, or a game that time zones wouldn't be an issue. That's what I'm thinking of. Is this really hard for the three of us? You know, Vapa's either got to be up at three in the morning, or I've got to. Uh, you know, it just doesn't really work out for us to, to all be in the same game at the same time. You know, somebody's got to lose some sleep and and uh, not be be talking with uh, with all their senses because they're too tired to think. So it just doesn't work out. What are you, Malachite? 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 I'm thinking copper. I'm not sure. Is that something you smell to get copper? Malachite. Hmm. I see I'm going to have to do some research before I get into this game uh, for real. Let's mine out purple over here and see what you are. What else have you guys been up to? Have not gotten over here yet. Not gotten into here. Um. That will leave that the way it is. We're starting to tap into this. We've got slate over here. Okay. New stone. You're slate, you are slate as well. 
Uh, any stones in this? No, not there. I'm just noticing it felt like the map stopped. It did stop. That's interesting. Hmm. It doesn't want to move sometimes. Yeah, I'm, I'm holding it. It's not happening. So, when it's focused on a bush, maybe? Interesting. All right. It stopped right over here, too. Is that really the end? Nope, it does go back. Okay. So, little issue there with the demo. Have I been into here? I think I have. In other places. So, new colors. What have we opened up recently? What have we got in here? Anything unexplored? You are Galena in probably sandstone? Not seeing any of that stone without... Uh, let's clear the bushes out so we've got more space over here. So orders uh, clear. Let's clear all that out and into there. So some of our stockpile gets opened up again. And in fact, let's zone stockpile. Let's expand that even further so that uh, we can definitely bring lots of stuff over here while we're finishing up this little exploration. You were gold in granite. We moved down into here, copper in granite. Moved down into here, found copper in dolostone. What I'm going to guess is dolomite. Have we gotten into you? Probably. But if not, I'll just go ahead and throw these orders in. Okay. Where else have we gotten? We went this way. Went through here. We got into slate. And in that slate, we found malachite and galena. Ah, what are you? Aquamarine uncut gems. Cool. And you are, you were the malachite. Okay, I was thinking jade, but that's a metal. Whereas this is probably what I'm looking for. I wonder if that's jade. Orders, mine. Guys, let's head this way. What do we got here? And they seem to grab the one that's next to them rather than doing it in the order that I had set it up, which is kind of nice. I can change my mind real quick. Jade. Great. So Jade and Aqua, Aqua Marine. We've got uh, Jasper back over there. We've got Diamond. Lots of different, you know, dwarves. They like to they head down and, and uh, dig, uh, what is it, deeper and greedier, however the phrase went. What is this guy? Pink. What's your guess? Hmm. We're going to break through over here to probably Malachite. Probably more of this. Alright, pink. We've got Spinal Uncut Gem. Spinal. Spinel? Spinal? You are Malachite, yes. Alright, so that takes care of this area, and we're doing it in Slate still. So what else is new and different? We went up this way. Yeah, so they'll probably get into this area next, breaking us into this area. So when this is all done, we'll call this Let Sample Finished, I think. We got in pink yet? You're red. We'll peek into this just to see if there's anything different there. So orders, mine, right, little area right there. Otherwise, I'm going to say that we've exhausted this, this particular map. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> so what can I show you otherwise? Let's get whoever's not a miner or a craftsman over here working on popping some doors in. So furniture, door, let's put wooden doors in here and see if we can get a variety of different kinds of wood showing up. And do we get the oak trees cut? Don't know where they were, but let's see if we've got oak logs sitting in storage over here. You are oaken planks. Okay, got them and they've already turned them into planks. So, working away over here. Um, let's put in a... Let's put in some lanterns. So, what we got here? Zones, stockpile, furniture, lanterns. So, put a lantern in each bedroom. These will be made out of copper because that's what's available. Put that there, that kind of light us up this way. We went up here, need a lantern in that area. A little nook right there, probably not the best plan. We're only going to get a view out over here, huh? 
Hmm. Okay, you're gonna go there. You're going to go right there, and you're done. Then we went up. Where do we go? Ah, went this way. So we'll pop him over there, over there. Let these guys be able to see on their way out. Kind of dark in there. We went this way and broke into this space. All right, so they down over here. You were the Jade. We stopped at this point. And let's head up into this area. Yeah, we're working over here now. So we found what over here? Ah, we got purple. Purple is Amethyst. Great. Blue. Aquamarine. We've got more Malachite over here. In. Slate. In. Granite. Over here. That's interesting. It seems to be in the floor. No, that's... This is where I am, up here. All right, so up here we hit Moonstone. That's different. In Granite. Over here, we're tapping into Hematite. And most likely Granite. And we're going to work over here real quick. We have a few more spots to check out. No, oh, you're the pink. And it's random whether you're going to get anything out of it or not. Interesting. We got nothing. Orders. Mine. Hmm. You can lose a whole vein, huh? Do that. Head over. Do that. This is pretty addictive. I can sit here and play this for hours. You. We already got you. Your moonstone. And hematite. So I think we're getting close to calling this one done. There are setting up the uh, the different uh, lanterns out here did we get a lanterns built in the uh, the bedrooms yeah we did eight diamonds so they are tapping out what's in the stones aquamarine aquamarine gems we've got some granite blocks what are you four citrine gems i'm only seeing gems i'm not seeing metals Ah, oh, wait a minute. What are you? No, you're sapphire gems. Sapphire. I didn't notice that one. So I'm not seeing coal. And I'm not seeing any of the metals. So I'm guessing those will need to be run into some kind of a furnace and smelted out of it. That must be what the plan is for those. Not seeing anything here besides... Uh, we got some birch and, and fir and oak. All right. So our last little area up here, we're going to call this done. Noticing the uh, the berries out over here. So we're working in this area. We tapped into here. We did get some tourmaline. Tourmaline uncut gems. This is going to be citrine. And that, I'm going to guess, is diamond. We'll find out. In granite. Hematite. Lots to explore. We'll see this and we'll call this one done. So, yeah, I'll put links at the bottom for everything that I found interesting about the game. Different uh, places to go and check things out. Moonstone. Okay, that's what that was. Otherwise, I think I'm going to call this one done. I don't see anything else new here. So, leave some comments below. Tell me what you think. What you think of the potential of the game. Head over, hit the links, check them out. And uh, hit the Reddit, let them know... Uh, uh, thoughts and ideas you've got for the game. Give them some uh, some uh, uh, some of your thoughts and what you'd love to see after you've read everything to see where they're headed with it. And I think I'm going to call this one done here. This has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.